This haunting image appears alongside Claire's reflection on Lot's wife in the book Unveiled. How does this picture make you feel? Lot's wife is a story that many of us will know. It's also one of the more challenging of the stories that we'll be exploring in this series. Many of us will forget the scenes from August 2021 of Kabul airport as thousands of desperate people struggled to flee Afghanistan after the Taliban took over. Some were able to get away, but most did not. The UN estimate that there are around 82.4 million people around the world who've been forced to flee their homes. That's one of every 90 people on earth a staggering statistic. The woman at the heart of our story also has to flee her home. Like many women of the Bible, we don't know her name, only that she was Lot's wife. We know that she had two daughters, that she lived in a place called Sodom in the plain of Jordan, and that she was married to Lot, Abraham's nephew. Although we know very little about her life, she's mainly remembered for the manner of her death. It's a curious story. The enigmatic angelic visitors who'd encountered Abraham and Sarah and told them of their impending pregnancy, then headed towards the city of Sodom. They were to warn the city it would be destroyed because its people had turned to faithlessness and violence. The rest of the story reveals just how sinful these people were. Lot, who was at the city gate, greeted them and invited them into his home. He got his wife to work and provided a feast for them. However, before they'd finished eating, the men of the city surrounded the house and demanded the visitors be given over to them, so that we may know them. Lot refused to allow the men into his home and instead offered them his own virgin daughters. These passages have often been used as a clobber text to make an argument about same-sex relationships. But this is simply wrong. This is not a passage about relationships, same-sex or otherwise. It's about violence. The men of Sodom want to assault Lot's visitors, and so he tries to protect them by offering his own daughters instead. It's a pretty grim tale. Thankfully, the angelic visitors strike the rampaging Sodomites with blindness so they can't find the door. And then they urge the family to run before the city is destroyed. Flee for your life, they were told. Do not look back. As the family escape, the cities of Sodom and the neighboring Gomorrah are both destroyed in a shower of sulfur and fire from the Lord out of heaven. But Lot's wife, who'd been running behind them, looked back. And for this, she is immediately turned into a pillar of salt. Why salt? It's all very strange. Some have argued she was turned into salt for punishment at her lack of faith. But this seems overly harsh, as surely the Bible is full of faithless people who aren't turned into a statue. Perhaps she was simply terrified and frozen to the spot at the horror of what she was seeing. And why did Lot's wife look back? Perhaps she was grieving a place which held all her childhood memories and which she'd never see again. But whatever happened to Lot's wife, she reminds us of the thousands of women, men and children forced to flee their homes each day due to violence, war and natural disaster. She reminds us of all those who look back and remember all those they've left behind. From its start to its finish, the story of Lot's wife was full of tragedy and pain. This was a woman who was told to flee from her home to escape its violence and ruin, a story that's all too familiar to many around the world today. Today, we're filming in Oxford, 
It's hard to imagine being forced to flee this city for fear of its sulfuric and fiery destruction. But just for a moment, imagine how you'd feel if you were told to leave your home, to flee for your life. Would you look back 